Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this video, we will learn how to create a Bootstrap 5 navbar with multi-label drop-down menu. So this is what we are going to create in this tutorial. You can see the multi-label drop-down menu. Without delaying, let's get started. Here I have a plain index.html file which has the basic HTML syntax. Inside the head I have few meta tags and title. Then I have linked the bootstrap 5 CSS and as well as I have added the JS script for bootstrap 5. So now let's start coding. First we'll create the menu bar. We'll create a div with class container and inside that I'll create another div with class navbar and navbar expand lg. After that, I will add two more classes, navbar dark and I'll give the color of the um, navbar menu as bg primary. Let's check in the browser. So you can see the blue color navbar on the top. Next, inside this div, we'll create another div with class container fluid and we'll give an anchor tag with class navbar brand this is the place for the logo or any brand name i'm giving the brand name as multi-label drop down so you can see that we have got a brand name next let's create a button for the mobile view we'll give button dot navbar toggler type is equals to button and data base toggle is equal to collapse after that data base target is equal to will give an id name as hash nav after that we have to give an icon for this button so for that i'll give a span with class navbar toggler icon so if you check in the browser and if you minimize the screen you can see the button now let us create the items for the navbar menu for that we have to keep it inside or div with the same id name which we have given in the button of database target so that when we toggle the button the menu will act as an accordion we'll create a div with last name collab navbar collapse and we have to give the id as nav next let us create an ordered list with class name navbar nav and inside that we'll give the list with class name nav item then we'll create the menu link having anchor tag and class name nav link we'll give home as the first menu item I'll just copy this and change the name as about contact us and the last one as more items so you can see that the menu items have appeared on the screen now i want a drop down beside the more items and i want the sub items to be displayed so for that i'll give a class name drop down inside the list and inside the anchor tag we'll give the class drop down double next we'll give database toggle is equals to drop down and inside this we want the items to be displayed so again we'll create an on ordered list with class drop down menu and inside that we'll give the list and anchor tag with class name drop down item let us give a name to the anchor tag as item one I'll just copy the same thing and change the name as item 2. Next, let us create a sub item for item 2. For that, we have to give a arrow symbol 
on the right hand side and we can achieve that by adding this piece of code and inside these item 2 we want sub items to be displayed so for that again we'll create an ordered list with class name drop down menu and sub menu i'll copy the same list which we had done earlier and change the name as sub item 1 and sub item 2 right now the sub menu items are not getting displayed for that we have to add few css let us go to the heat tag and give the styling first we'll make the position of drop down menu ally as relative drop down menu ally with position relative next for the drop down menu sub menu will give display none and position as absolute Now on hover of the sub menu the item should be displayed. So for that we will give drop down menu ally hover and sub menu as display block. Let's check in the browser. You can see the items are getting displayed but it is on the same line i want it to appear on the other side so for that inside the drop down menu sub menu i will give left as 100 percent and top let us give as minus 7 px so you can see the sub item has been moved to the right so now let us give one more sub menu for this sub item 2 for that again we have to do the same thing which we have done earlier I'm just copying the code and pasting it over here. I'll change the name as multi label one and for the another one, I'll give multi label two. So, right now, we are not able to see the multi label one and multi label two because we have not added the class sub menu inside the UL tag. Now, let's check in the browser. You can see the multi level 1 and multi level 2 sub menus. There are only two items in each drop down menu. I'll just add one more item to each of them. For the main drop down menu, I'll give item 3. And for this, I'll give one more item as sub item 3. We have three items in each drop down menu. Now I want to add a few more menu items on the right hand side of the nav bar. For that, I'll create another UL with class name navbar nav and ms auto. And I'll copy the same thing from the top and paste it over here. Let us create the name as more item and to this I'll just give drop down right. To the drop down right link I'll give class drop down toggle and database toggle is equals to drop down. And inside that drop down right link, 
they have the sub menu items so that again i'll create a another list with class drop down menu and the same thing link and anchor tag with class name drop down item and i'll give the name as drop down item one and drop down item two for the arrow, I'll give the same HTML code and inside that drop down item 2, I'll create a unordered list with class name drop down menu sub menu and I will add a new class name as sub menu left. You will get to know why I am adding this piece of class. Then again, we'll give the sub menu item 1, 2, 3. Let's check in the browser. Mm, something has gone wrong. Let us check why it is getting displayed like this. Okay, let us try adding the CSS for sub menu left. So drop down menu, sub menu left will give right 100%. and left as auto we have got the sub menu items on the left but the items are not getting displayed properly let me check okay i got it so here inside the list i have given the wrong spelling of drop down and just change this now let's check in the browser okay now it's appearing correctly so guys with this we have completed this tutorial please try these and let me know if you have any queries or concerns where i can help you guys thank you so much for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel bye take care